Hi there, my name is John with MLC CAD Systems, and I'm going to walk you through the simple process of how to install SOLIDWORKS on a client machine. So if this is the first time SOLIDWORKS has been installed on the computer, you're going to need a few things before getting started. First, you're going to need the serial numbers. Those should have been emailed to you after your purchase, and you won't be able to use SOLIDWORKS without them. Next, you're going to need the installation files. Instructions for this is on the support page of mlc-cad.com, or click the link on the side of the screen for more details on getting these files. The last thing that you'll need to know is if you have any special file locations, such as a network shared toolbox or a license manager location, because those will need to be entered at some point along the way. If this is just an upgrade, most of these items are not going to be needed. To get started with the install, the default download location is under Documents and SolidWorks Downloads. Just open up the version that you want to install and run the setup.exe file. We will want to select install on this computer in order to install and download SOLIDWORKS, but other videos cover the other options shown here. From here, you'll need to enter your serial number. You can enter it manually or you can copy and paste it from a text file or a spreadsheet. You will want to keep in mind that each serial number may license multiple products, but if you have a separate serial number for each additional product, you can expand and activate each of these products here. It's important to keep in mind that this isn't going to determine what gets installed, only what licenses need to be entered. Often only one serial number is required. Click next and if any messages come up, read them carefully. You may see a message such as, such as do you want to upgrade, choose whether you want to create a new installation side by side with the old one, or whether you want to upgrade it and only have one version going at a time. On the summary page, there's several different options here that may need to be reviewed, so I'm going to go through each one and take a look. The product selection should be automatically configured based on the serial numbers that you have entered, but there may be some manual modification necessary. The download options and installation location options are usually fine to be left at their default value. Under toolbox slash whole wizard options, you have the ability to choose whether or not to use an existing toolbox and upgrade it, or to create and name a new toolbox. If you have other products to install, such as SOLIDWORKS Electrical, additional information is going to need to be provided, but we have separate videos to explain the process for that. Once all the options have been addressed, you can go ahead and click download and install. If you have a SOLIDWORKS network license, you will be prompted to enter the port and server name for the server. From there, it will install SOLIDWORKS and all the requested products on your machine. When it's complete, you have a few options to look at. The What's New guide will show you what's new with the SOLIDWORKS release, and then you can choose whether or not to participate in the customer feedback program. I do recommend you get involved in the customer experience program because it simply helps SOLIDWORKS continue to make a great product for future releases. From here, the only thing left to do is run SOLIDWORKS and make sure it works. You may see a dialogue that comes up about activation. Just simply choose select all and enter your email address to automatically activate over the internet. As each customer setup is unique, if at any point you run into any issues, please don't hesitate to reach out to MLC CAD Systems or your reseller if appropriate. Enjoy using SolidWorks.